obviously Marcus unfortunately wasn't in you know the England squad um, so they reached out to me they wanted to do extra work and we certainly got the work in Good. great pass great touch work for two nice You know, quite a lot of people have this opinion on Marcus, but I can tell you it's far from what people think. He loves football. Jay here for Stratford Paddock. That is Ryan Opper, otherwise known as RH Elite Coaching. And this is just a little bit of a chat. It's a weird one, this, because me and you talk all the time. You're always yep. on the watch alongs, you're always on the brew. We always do podcasts. And we just thought we'd have a little catch up because you've been busy, haven't you? Been very busy, mate. <laughs> very busy, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, listen, me and you are, are close when we chat. Uh, quite a lot but yeah this is a little little different feel to it does it, it feels like yeah, an interview yeah. or something rather it than a does, podcast yeah. like we normally do no definitely one of the reasons why it's chat you've been in sort of the public eye a lot over the last well, over the last since I've known you last four years but more recently you did a little bit of coaching during the international break with yep. uh, with Marcus Rashford which if anyone doesn't know what uh, what you do tell us we'll get into the, the stuff about Marcus and, and other yep. players you've worked with but just tell us a little bit about what it is you do and what it is you offer to, to players so yeah I'm, a, I'm an elite coach uh, work with Premier League players, international players and young academy players uh, in England. They also travel, very lucky to travel the world uh, in cl clinics and other bits and bobs in America, LA, California and so on and so forth, all in the same place. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, that's what I do. And, and Marcus and Bruno and Diogo and Anthony Alanga, the list, the list goes on, Fred. But yeah, no, yeah, that's what I do. I'm an elite coach. You, has there been like because when I, I remember when I first met you I think it was just during lockdown wasn't it yep. and you had players then I think you had Fred you had um, Diogo Delo Bruno Fernandes they'd sort of yep. reached out and they were coaching you was that because of lockdown they'd come and got extra coaching is that how that worked yeah so the lockdown one obviously uh, the restrictions got lifted um, the club give the lads a program to follow, but it was no ball work. So they obviously got in touch with, with my, myself through Stephen Island, a close friend of mine, wanting me to put um, a few a few sessions on and work with the lads for a good six or seven weeks. And yeah, the relationship blossomed, and you know we're very fortunate that Bruno come back like an house on fire and scored goals. And you know Diogo has really kicked on over the last few years, and obviously Fred's doing really well now. Obviously, Anthony Alang has gone to Nottingham Forest, being linked to another Premier League move. So it seems to, I'm not saying I'm doing a good job, but it seems to me like uh, up, the all down to up the RH is in Up the RH today. Well, this uh, is it, because this was at a time as well, I remember when Bruno was taking penalties almost every week. <laughs> and every time he was scoring them as well, I know I used to do, we all used to get on a watch along. We'd be on our phones going, well, yeah, yeah go on off uh, hey. the RH. And then when he, I think there was one where he missed and we all blamed you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably got a few messages on that occasion as well, but no, I'm very, I'm very lucky that you know the lads, you know, feel like they can come to me to try and, you know, work on the extras, improve the game. It's really, obviously, I feel quite proud in 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 that, and just to give the best service that I can, so they can it can elevate them on the pitch. It's really important to me that it's good, man. You deserve the the the, the sort of accolades you've been getting because. Like I said, I know you feel like you've put the graft in. You know, yeah. you know, you do. You're a humble guy who does a lot of good work um, with these players, and and it's it's telling that the players are coming back to you, and the, yeah. the caliber of players you're getting. You know, it's, it does mm. what it says on the tin. You had to talk about elite coaching. How did you get into that then? Because you was a player, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Accrington Stanley. Yeah. Um, what made you go into this sort of coaching? Because a lot of players or ex-players will go into coaching in terms of joining a team, coaching at a team. Yeah. You took a bit of a different route. Yeah, no, for me, obviously, you know, like you said, I was at Accrington, played in the Football League, didn't get offered a new deal, went all around these new clubs trying to trying to get a deal and I found myself going into the semi-pro route, which which was great. I played a lot of games in semi-pro, but, you know, while I was at Accrington, they put me through my coaching qualifications. So I've got, you know, you know, level two UA for B, like pro licence. So obviously I'm in a very good position in terms of like qualifications within the game and stuff. And it was like, it was mad how I fell into it really because people was getting messages left, right and centre saying, do you offer this, do you offer that? And I never put out that I offered any one-to-one -one or small group services. So I don't know where the idea of these people got got that impression. So I was like, well, it was, you know, I was, remember being away with, with my missus and the family and I was like, people are asking me like, do I do this? And she was like, well, there might be a bit of a, an avenue here where you could you could go into so I, I owe it all to me this is really she'll be happy about that <laughs> um but yeah and, and i and i thought you know what i'm gonna go for it so you know started off 
it's crazy really started off on a field in in draws then medlock field you know with a bunch of grassroots players and it and it just over the past four or five years it's grown to you know league one players championship players premier league players international players best players in the world and it's just sort of it's been a nice story and yeah i'm very proud of of how far i've come and again it's not done though you know working with these players you know they've got goals and they've got aspirations and they want to improve their game and i want to do the same i want to go on to to reach different heights i want to be known as that guy in that sort of one-to-one and small group space where these lads are going right he's the guy i want to use him and that's that's really important to me do you feel like that's what it is now because it's certainly not just players that you've worked with coming back to you, but you're working with all these other players and it seems to be increasing. And mm. I don't think, I wouldn't say that the, the, the standard's getting raised because for me, Bruno Fernandes will always yeah. be at the top of any tree. But other elite players, other international players are yeah. coming to you. Do you think there is a little bit of word of mouth and people saying, look, he's the guy if you want a bit yeah, of no, extra I think, coaching? I think to go definitely, to. I think definitely that's the case. And again, I'm really, really proud of that. And it's like, you know, I try and deliver the best service I can. and. You know, I'd just be myself around these lads, like, you know, you've known me for a long time now, you know, I like to have a laugh and I'm infectious and stuff like that. And I think they feel like it's a safe space and we can, but when it's time to get the work in, you know, we get the work in, it's intense, it's it's done properly and, and the lads see the results on the pitch, so that's why they keep coming back. And if they wasn't happy, believe me, they wouldn't be coming back. Big responsibility as well, though, isn't it? Because yeah. I know obviously they're getting coached at the clubs and they have their own personal responsibility, yeah. but they're coming to you to get that extra... And you know they'll they'll want to see. I'm, I'm guessing they'll want to see a result as well. Yeah, so you've no. got to sort of show that. I think it's a testament to the to the lads as well. Like obviously, I would love to take all the, all the credit and stuff like that. But the lads, you know, the attention to detail. I've said it quite a lot on on this channel before. The attention to detail with these lads is is fantastic. You know, they're at the top of the game. They're playing in the Premier League. They're internationals. But like this is what it takes. So any young players out there that want to go on and be a professional player, like these these are the players that you need to look to because they're at the highest stage of their careers, but still there's always room for improvement. There's always room for repetition. There's always room for to get better at anything. And that's it's a testament because the best players in the world are doing it. So why can't young, inspiring young lads, girls come and do the, the same thing? No, it is, it is a good example as well. I remember I messaged you, I said, yeah. my missus is asking if you do coaching yeah. for nine years. <laughs> I said, I don't yeah. think he knows that. No, it, that's it, not it's really not, what he does. No. But it's that whole thing of like, oh, yeah. Like young lads or girls see the top level players getting out of your coaching, yeah. and it's like that's 100%. a good example to set, man. And it seems like it's a change because when I was a kid, players just sort of they had the reputation, they played, mm. trained in in, in uh, at training, and then they used to go out and get drunk or whatever and just go party. No, but you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, when I was growing no, up, and now it's like you see players pushing the envelope. Uh, obviously, you've coached Marcus Rashford recently. Yeah. Was that again? Was that just him reaching out because of your reputation? Yeah, um, Marcus's team reached out to me. Um, obviously, Marcus unfortunately wasn't in you know, the England squad. Um, so they reached out to me, they wanted to do extra work and got the work in. Um, absolutely fantastic experience. Great to meet him. You know, the conversations that we, me and Marcus had in terms of details and just to see that enthusiasm, just see how much he loves the game. You know, quite a lot of people have this opinion on Marcus, but I can tell you it's far from what people think. He loves football, loves to train. And that's all it was. He wanted to do extras. He wants to, you know, really work hard and he just loves the game. You can see that by the way he trains, the way he communicates and the way he goes through the details. I was having some great conversations with him about techniques and all sorts of stuff. And again, absolutely pleasure. And was he, is he someone, I guess, who, like the other players, like Bruno's and Fred and, and Delo, um, who were willing to listen as well when you got feedback and they're not like, well, I'm going to make it, I play for... Uh, no. You know, these guys are listening no to way Marcus was brilliant honestly like like all the other lads were you know key little details and you know I would necessarily say why don't you try this and he would try it but also he was going into detail about his techniques different to other people's techniques so it might work one thing might work for, for them but it might not work for him and he was going into all, all sorts of stuff it, it was amazing great experience and on a social level it was it was absolute pleasure um, and the results obviously quite a lot of people have seen the video and and we've done trust me we've done a lot more than than what was put out on the video um but again you can only release whatever you can release or you can only put so much out there but believe me no stones were left unturned in the time that i had with marcus and he really worked hard from doing the fitness element and putting the extra hard yards in with his running to his finishing to his 1v1s 
uh, the technical stuff, the little details, the rotation stuff, everything, no stones were left unturned. That's good to hear, man. Because and it's it's daft because sometimes I saw people sort of criticizing Mark because he has got a lot of criticism, and I understand, you know, to a certain degree why pe people looking. Okay, sometimes he's not reaching levels he's reached before, whatever. But what we're seeing in is a player who's trying his best to, to get to those levels. And that's what you want to see from players, isn't it? Hundred percent. Like, and again, I must stress like the love the love of the game that Marcus has, and he wants to train. You know, he wants to work hard. He wants to be the best that he can be. And regardless of what people think. Uh, it's a team game at the end of the day, as end of the day as well. Like football is based on a team as well, so a lot of people can throw shade at individuals, whether that's Marcus or any other players. But it's a collective. You know, you you win together, you lose together. So the fact that obviously Marcus has put in the extra graft is just a testament to him and his character, and he just wants to be the best. What's it like for you, Upper, as a United fan? Because you're working with these guys. Me yeah. and you sit here and we'll do a watch along or we'll chat on the brew, and yeah. you're as passionate a red as anyone I know. And you're working with these guys as well. That must be. No, I don't know how's yeah. that feel because you were. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, it's funny. Support. It's brilliant, and obviously, you know, just to reiterate about Marcus's team as well. Marcus is an absolute pleasure, and his team, yeah. his team are a pleasure. The amount of laughs that we had in terms of because they asked me, they asked me before we started. One of the lads, who part of Marcus's team, was like, "Are you a?" Uh, you were a United fan or a City fan? I said, I'm a big red. Like, mm. he's like, really? He says, you look like, like a City fan. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and he said, you look like um, you didn't have a your, famous, uh, a it, famous you City fan. on and all that and nah, uh, Ben said, Sherman. So you look like a famous City fan. I can't remember the lad's name. Um, Steve, is it Steve? You look like the Steve... Fella. Steve, is it the guy that goes on the overlap? I think guy? so. Yeah, you look, look like, like him. him. I don't think. Does he look and like? Does he look like Steve? And the, the, lads, lads, <laughs> the lads just get have a bit of banter and stuff like that. that. If it's unless and, uh, talking about another thing, yeah, that's what yeah, I can think yeah. of. Not, I don't know. I don't really see it. So. Yeah, Saying, I mean, uh, it might be. Yeah, I look like him. But this team was absolutely incredible. But yeah, sometimes it's it's a kick myself moment, and it's like. But at the end of the day, like, it sounds me. I'm not being big headed or anything. It's not my first rodeo, so no. it's like. You know this. This is right. Come on, Rye, Like, kick in now and just give the best service that you can. Because again, like I said to you before, I want to be known as that guy. Yeah. Where, wherever Marcus is, you know they know if he needs any extra work away from the club and the guy, or whether that's Bruno Diogo, whether it's any any professional player that's out there that I've not worked with before. I want to be known as that guy. A lot of people do do do. Obviously, what I do, but obviously, I want to be known as someone who who is different and. Is the man in this sort of field? Well, you are. I think you are known. I'm rightly so, bro. And I'm buzzing for you because I know how much hard work you put in. Yeah, I know I you always yeah. strive. Yeah. You always do. Do you know what I mean? The amount of sacrifices you've made. And it's great to see you getting your your recognition as well. And long may it continue. You know, I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing the results on the pitch. No pressure. Definitely. But no, Marcus no. don't get an hat trick at weekend. Mate, I'm blaming you. Watch this space, mate. Watch <laughs> this space. Um, go and check out RH Elite Coaching. There's a link in the description. You know Opa. If you've ever watched his channel, you know yeah. him as much as you know me, House and Joe and Macca. He's on here most weeks. So go and check it out anyway. And it's always a pleasure chatting Thank to you. Make so much. sure Cheers. as well you are hitting like, share and subscribe. That's been Ryan Opa. I've been Jay Marty. Thanks for watching. Hope the RH. <laughs>